What is good guys? We're back with another video. Today we are on the beast of a bike, the 72 volt RX custom build. I have a couple of videos out on it, or maybe just one. I don't know, I've been slacking on videos, but I, I got them coming. Um, and I have another bike on the way, so we're gonna stay tuned for another bike that's brand new to the channel. But anyways, today we're on this bike, so let's get into it. So if you guys didn't catch my uh, original video on this bike, I'll link it up here, but this is a 5,000 watt, 72 volt conversion of a Super 73 RX Mojave. So basically, like I said in that video, there really isn't very much on this bike that is stock, not even the brakes. Uh, these has Magura brakes. Um, I, you really have to do that when you get a bike like this or you're going this fast or you make a bike that can go this fast. You really want to upgrade the brakes um, because when you're going that fast, you want to be able to have some good stopping power. And this thing definitely does. After you go Magura, like these are Magura brakes. Uh, this is the AVE5, I believe. Uh, but yeah, once you once you go <laughs> Magura, it's hard to go back. Uh, really, they're just there. It's like butter. So I haven't put a rear brake or tail light on this thing yet, but I do have that coming, and it should be here within the next like four or five days. I do have a headlight. Um, the headlight's badass. It's actually one of the ones you can get from Super Seventy Three. And like I said in the other video, the one of the main reasons why I ended up getting rid of my Huck Cycle Stinger which was also a very fast power uh, 5,000, was it 5,000? Maybe it was 3,000 watt. Anyways, it was also a 50 mile an hour plus bike and got this instead was because the Huck looks like a motorcycle. When you're riding around and you're looking like you're on some kind of a big gigantic beast of a thing, it makes it so that you, get a, you draw a lot more attention and this just kind of looks like uh, all the other Super 73s in town, except for I have a black uh, metal casing in between the frame. Um, one thing I wanted to do was to kind of do like a, I've had this bike for what, like three months? I've been riding it like pretty often. This is kind of like the go-to bike for me. Um, right now I think I have seven or something different e-bikes, but this is the one I kind of, typically tend to just grab when I want to go for a ride. I had Teo from Spark Cycle Works out here and he got into the, the menu system and was able to uh, make it so I have like different levels so I can like, you know, really incrementally adjust how fast I want to go, which is really cool. I used to have uh, five different levels. Um, it's called assist, but basically the five different levels uh, you go plus or minus and if you're in like level one for example, you're going eight miles an hour And if you're in level five then it unleashes the entire power uh, of the motor Since then now I have nine levels, which is really cool So I can incrementally kind of like adjust, you know, if I want to stay at a certain uh, Max speed I can do that which makes it really nice um, So basically that's one little one little tinker that's happened to the bike since then um, Also, I have actually still and I don't want to jinx myself. Maybe I shouldn't say it, but I still have not gotten a flat. Um, I got a flat on a different bike the other day. Uh, luckily, it was like in the same parking lot as an auto store. So we bought some slime and some dude had a pump. So we were able to make it work. But, you know, I, I have all kinds of things on this bike to hopefully not get a, a flat as much as possible, including like the um, tire liners and special tubes on the bike and all kinds of things. If there still is a link for the tubes that I use on this bike, um, I will drop that in the description below. But they're basically like extremely thick. They do weigh a little bit more, so I don't know if that if that bothers certain people, then you probably wanna stick with the regular tubes. But um, yeah, I like these. They're like, I would say two to three times as thick. I think they're made for like tubed motorcycle tires or something, but they're pretty awesome. But while Teo was out here uh, visiting California, we actually did go on a ride through some dirt trails. I took this, I took this bad boy uh, off-road for the first time that it's seen dirt. That was awesome. Um, it did extremely well. I was, I was happy. Um, it's heavy. Obviously, it's got the big 72 volt battery in it, and then the hefty controller. But it, it did amazing. It did extremely well uh, off-road. The power, the torque on this thing is insane. The hum that it makes when you're riding kind of like a <laughs> it uh just kicks ass man awesome right now i typically have been riding it at like uh, level six again out of six out of nine um 
I don't really have to go over 50 miles an hour and I typically wouldn't just gonna ride this bike at 50 miles an hour plus constantly um, but I think six gets me to about 38 to 40 miles an hour, which is great. And again, the torque, even in level one, you could literally be in level one and the torque is the same across the whole spectrum. Um, here, for example, let's turn onto this street. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this from my perspective, but we're at almost a stop, we're at level six. I floor it, boom, it takes off, right? Okay, so now when I go back down to level one, level one, assist one, and then same thing takes off but then it stops at like I don't know nine miles 12 miles an hour um, so it's really like it depends on what you want your max speed to be at and you set the assist level for that and then it will take you to the proper number or the proper uh, miles per hour again six is kind of my, my favorite right now uh, there is nine but see at the same time if you're in nine which a lot of people are like why don't you just stay in the maxed out well when you're in nine if you're holding the throttle all the way down then you're going to the maximum speed the bike can go and you may not want to do that on certain streets or like whatever so for me six is kind of the perfect one for me to i feather it you know right now i'm obviously not holding it down all the way that's when i hold it down all the way it just kind of takes off um, but like if I'm going with the speed of traffic and a lot of the streets where I live 35 miles an hour speed limit maybe 40 miles an hour is how fast cars are driving and I'm basically just staying right there with them it works out great so I'm very happy um, I'm just kind of doing like an overview of my three months having this uh, build once again huge shout out to Ali uh, up in Los Angeles if it wasn't for Ali I still would have a bunch of parts in my garage and this bike would not be built <laughs> So big shout out to Ali. I'll link his Instagram below. If you guys are looking to get um, a 72 volt build, specifically on a Super 73, he's done a, recently, he just did Peter Parker, uh, got his S2 um, modded to a Super 72 volt S2. <laughs> so yeah, now Peter Parker is part of the 72 volt squad. Um, I can't wait to go back to LA. I'm hoping to do that for the, the newest arts and energy ride. Um, I will put it up on the screen right now. If I have the details of that ride, that'll be the first group ride that I think I've done um, in 2023. I mean, besides just riding with some friends, but as far as like a big organized ride goes. So going uphill, we're in level six, going uphill at 35 miles an hour, 36 miles an hour. I mean, it's absolutely incredible how fast this thing goes up hills. I mean, that, that kid was on like a rad power and I think he was going probably like four miles an hour, you know, and that's, I mean, I get it. It's even the stock Super 73 going up a hill, like you got to pedal with it. Damn, that fool's got a machete. But yeah, just, I live in a very hilly area. So as you guys can see, we're gonna go on up another hill, 36 miles an hour. That's level six, so if we were in level um, nine, which is the maxed out level, then it would be even faster. Um, this is the dirt area that I went with Teo. Pretty cool little spot. Um, just a bunch of like little trails all throughout the mountains. Um, right now, because it has literally been raining every, fr it never rains in California, right? It never rains? Yeah, well. <laughs> It has literally not stopped raining for like the last like three freaking weeks. We got, I don't know, like 15 freaking inches or something. Absolutely insane. So it's kind of muddy out there right now. I don't feel like hosing the bike down, but if you guys are interested in seeing how this thing performs off-road, drop a comment and um, I will make a ded dedicated off-road video on this bike. These houses out here, guys, are insane. They're just like... I don't know if you guys can see them. I don't know if the wind is fucking up the microphone, but very 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 nice very very nice very nice houses this is the if you guys are wondering where i'm at uh this is the hills of san clemente it's not as far out as like telega but it's in the um forest ranch kind of area as you guys can see there's tesla mercedes beamer This is my first Super 73 that actually has front and rear suspension. Um, my Spark Bandit has front and rear, and my uh, Frigo F1, oh, announcement. The F2 Pro from Frigo has uh, been shipped and is coming en route to my house. I will do a comparison video with the F1 and the F2 uh, as soon as I get it. But this is the first Super 73 
that I have had personally owned that has dual suspension and it's incredible. I mean, man, I love my S2, but just that rear suspension, man, changes, changes the game. I had quite a few comments asking me uh, how much the build cost. And honestly, I can't remember if I put that in my uh, initial video of the bike, but I was fortunate enough to get just the frame, the fork and the front tire uh, or the front rim, no tire. So with that, I was able then just to go out and buy the kit uh, from customebike.com. And then on top of that, I got a seat from uh, Ali had them made. I love this seat. Um, if you guys have seen it, it's the super long, like fit three people on the damn thing. And then I had the handlebars off of my uh, S2. I have my tires, uh, the Huntsman V tires off my S2. Um, so I basically kind of like pieced it together. I took my, my uh, flow carbon fenders off my S2. Um, I bought some rear view mirrors that cost like 30 bucks on Amazon. You know, I, I, everything kind of pieced together. So basically uh, all in, I was less than if I would have bought an RX stock off the Super 73 website, which is incredible. I mean, imagine spending, I think what they, what are they now? Like 3,800 bucks or something. So I paid less than that and I have it fully modded out. Now, however, I don't have a warranty. That's one thing you do not get um, if you buy a Super 73 and you modify it, you don't get the warranty, but I don't really don't need the warranty uh, for me personally, because if anything goes wrong, I'm just gonna call my homeboy, uh, Ali, and <laughs> he'll take care of it, so. Yeah. Dalton was about to cut that motherfucker real tight. So I think that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Uh, like I said, I do have another e-bike on its way. Uh, it's the Frigo F2 Pro. Uh, Frigo's been great, they've reached out, they've given me an affiliate link. Um, I will have that in the description below. Uh, I do have a Super 73 code, I believe still works. It's like 50 bucks off or something like that. Anyways, I'll put as many links as I can in the description. You guys are interested in, in a bike. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them in the comment section. Hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, we're almost to 5,000. I think I'm gonna do a nice little giveaway at 5,000 subscribers. So if you guys wanna stick around and find out what that is, I appreciate all you guys for clicking on the video today. If you made it this far, definitely drop a comment saying something nice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys so much and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.